is Glenn Dyer, and you are watching a dire situation. Today I'm seeing Detroit. Fire explosions and the world's crumbling down. It's Detroit. What am I talking about? Oh, yeah, so, um. Huh. Uh, apparently, uh. God, what is there to say about this? At least as advertised, this is a, um, extremely violent, um, uh, very dark, um, uh, representation of the Detroit riots that happened in the 80s, I think. So, um, yeah. Uh... I am not a historian. I do not know anything about the incident at all. Uh, and yeah, so... <laughs> uh, I don't know what to expect from this movie, really. I'm guessing it's going to be really depressing, probably. And um, just judging from the trailer, I... <laughs> well, uh, well, they don't seem to be holding back anything. I'll just put it that way. Um, just to let you guys know, yeah, it's, the riots did happen because of, like, race reasons. So, yeah, we're going to get to that level of uncomfortable, but you know what? That's something something you just have to endure sometimes. So, so let's see if, uh, if it's worth it. Let's, let's, let's do it. And I'm back. Well, this movie was horribly advertised. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that out, off the off the bat. I didn't read the IMDb description, but I did see the trailer and I did see the poster. And uh, this movie is not like what either of those say, or at least the poster I saw. The poster I saw was like um, a shot of like devastation, like a war zone for Detroit. And the trailer made it appear as though um, what's his face from Star Wars. Uh, was getting like was in some sort of hostile police interrogation and this somehow led to like rioting in Detroit and stuff and some sort of big thing and that this movie is basically just about a, a huge riot that destroys Detroit all about race relations and stuff. That's what it made it look like. Now granted maybe I wasn't paying that much attention but the movie is not that at all. In fact it's not really a spoiler, but it is a, but it is some, like, it's not something you're expecting, I guess. That whole interrogation scene doesn't happen until the last 20 minutes. And it honestly doesn't amount to that much. Honestly. Like, like the way the trailer presented it, it made it look like he was being unfairly persecuted. Probably because of his race or something. Um, but in movie... They have a pretty good reason to be interrogating him, and quite honestly, hope this isn't a spoiler, he is lying. Like, he lies about what happened. So... What... Well, let me just tell you what the movie actually is about. This movie is set during the Detroit riots in the 1960s, not the 80s. Um... And it's about these, um, these group of people who were in a motel. And, uh, this is during the riots, so they have, like, the National Guard and, like, police are all on edge and shit. Um, and basically, this one really stupid person, uh, shoots off a starter pistol at them. And they think there's a sniper in the, in the, in there, so they go and they bust in the door. And basically, the whole situation down um, spirals out of control until basically the the these two these these few really corrupt racist police officers are just basically using the situation to do the most awful things to innocent human beings. That's what the movie is. Most of the movie is just that these people essentially getting tortured. I feel like that is the main purpose of the movie. It is to make it so you see what happened here. I'm sure the I'm sure the director 
actually probably put it in words like that. You see what happened. You see what happened in this particular building. Which is fine. That's what the movie wants to portray. But um, I'm just saying from an advertising standpoint, they made it look more like you will see the truth about the riots. <laughs> Even though, honestly, the riots are more of a set piece than the main plot of the movie. Honestly. Um, just really, really strange. If you're wondering why I'm just going on about the advertising that much, it's because I feel like I am wholly unqualified to talk about much else um, about the movie. As I said, I'm no historian. I know nothing about this particular incident. I know nothing about... To be honest, I didn't even know there were giant Detroit riots in the 60s. Um, like, I knew there were general riots. I just didn't know it was, there was just a really big one in Detroit. I didn't know that. Um, I know about the L.A. one, but that was a different time period, I think. But anyway, uh, so, yeah, I don't know anything about that. Um, I have no personal connection to anything in here. Um, so I feel like I'm unqualified to really talk about how the movie handles the historical aspect of the of the stuff. So, just analyzing it from a strictly, this is a movie point of view, I can see a lot to... Maybe not enjoy, but to appreciate of it. I say, I say maybe not enjoy just because, like, uh, I don't know. I think movies like this and Dunkirk, well, more so with Dunkirk, it's not really about enjoying it. It's about experiencing it and knowing it. Detroit is a bad movie, though, but it, no, it's not bad. It's, no, not Detroit, not Detroit, Dunkirk. D sorry, they have similar names, Detroit, Dunkirk. Dun Dunkirk uh, is a lot worse in that sense, just because it seriously has no characters, <laughs> which makes it really hard to relate to and care with what's going on. Um, this movie does have characters, and you do relate to them, and it does make the impact of what happened a, a, um, a little harsher, and that's good. Um, it's good in that sense. If you're looking for a movie like this, one that is like really intense and is just trying to show like at least in my opinion like seriously so some of the horrible shit that goes on in our world man like that then this is the movie for you dunkirk no no but like this this handles that a lot better i think and yeah that's pretty much everything i have to say about that yep um <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I enjoyed it for what it was, I suppose. Um, I wasn't nearly as bored as with Dunkirk. Why do I keep mentioning Dunkirk? Uh, the, this, is, this is a good movie. This is a good movie. If you're, if you're interested in films like that, um, if you're interested in films that like deal with like race relations and stuff, this might be a little... I don't know, if, if Fences is on one end of that, where it's all talk and nothing actually happening, this would probably be the opposite end. Less introspection, more show you. So, I like it a lot more than Fences because of that, but, you know, nonetheless. That's, if, if what I describe sounds intriguing to you, then definitely take take a look. It's well made, um, uh, looks good for, for what it is. There's a couple moments, um, I think I noticed a major continuity error at one point, uh, but if I were to tell you what that continuity error was, it would spoil a moment in the movie that was actually kind of shocking, so, uh, yeah, I'll just leave that out for now. So, uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. So until next time, I'm Glenn Dyer, and you've been watching a Dyer Situation.